Hello there, my beautiful yogi. Thanks for joining me today for this fun, powerful flow. We are going to get started laying on our backs. So go ahead and meet me on your back in your most relaxed Shavasana. Sending the legs out long and slowly allowing the back to come down. Tucking those shoulders, palms face up. And go ahead, drop in. Bring in the awareness to right here and right now. Allowing the focus to come onto the self. Seeing how you feel today. What are the surroundings like right now? Finding the calm where we are. Meeting ourselves where we are. When it feels good, take the arms up and overhead. Big full body stretch here, wiggling the fingers and the toes, almost like we are bringing the awareness back to the body from being in a five minute Shavasana here. We're gonna take the toes over towards the right, leaving the booty where it is, and then walking the upper body over towards that right side. If it feels good for you, you can grab this left hand and gently pull it more towards the right. Getting a nice left side body stretch here. Breathing into that tight area, allowing the breath to fill up that space. Work its magic. And inhale, we'll all come back to center. And we'll start with walking the legs or the feet over towards the left, leaving those sits bones where they are and then shimmy in yourself upper body over towards the left if you want to grab that right hand and pull it more towards the left be my guest oh yeah stretching all down that right side body now making sure that we are sending that breath all to that right side Allowing the body to open up. Mm -hmm. So nice. And slowly we come back to the center. And then we're going to bring our feet up. So just plant the feet up near the booty. And we're gonna make sure we can feel those heels. So position yourself into your bridge position here. We're not necessarily just going up into bridge. So what we are gonna do though is lift that left leg up. And then we're gonna lift the hips up. It doesn't matter how far up where this leg is, this leg can be bent, doesn't matter. We're just coming up with the hips now. Now we're in like this three-legged bridge. We're in a pulse for five. One, two, three, four, five. Hold, leg up. Breathing. And release. And release that leg. Beautiful. Find this bridge again. And we're going to send this right leg up. Same thing. It can be bent straight. Doesn't matter where it's at here. And when you feel good, we're going to lift those hips up. And we pulse for five. One, two, three, four, five. Hold. Three legged bridge here. And release. Oh, yeah, very nice. Let's go ahead and take a windshield wiper with those legs. It's going to feel real nice here. And if you want to rock and roll, you can rock and roll. Otherwise, we're just coming up to a seated position. 
however you want to get there is fantastic feet plant on the mat hands can come behind us so we're going to do figure four so we're going to take this right ankle right under this left foot flex through that right foot and then walk the hands up just getting a little opening through the hips here breathing no holding or clenching the breath ever If you want more, you can walk the left foot in a little bit and even walk the hands up more if, if you're not feeling it. And here we go, other side. So release that right foot. If you want to take a little windshield wiper, go ahead. And then we're going to bring this left ankle under this right knee. Oh yeah. And finding where we are here. And then walking the foot and the hands together if you want more. You should feel this all in that outer left hip here. And breathe. Just allowing the breath, that natural inhale and exhale here such a nice little pose here we're going to slowly release here and definitely take the windshield wiper if you did not in between them and we're going to Roll over into our all fours position. I'm gonna take some cat cow. So once you get there, just making sure that the hips are over the knees and those shoulders are over the wrist. Drop that belly and lift that chest on an inhale. Exhale, we round through the spine, cat position here. Inhale, lift that chest, the gaze goes up. And exhale, we round. And do a few of these, matching up that breath to the movement here. Around the spine to be nice and warmed up. Once you feel good, we're going to walk the hands a little bit forward, tucking the toes and sending the booty up, coming in for our first downward facing dog here. Once you get here, pedal those feet, stretch them through the hamstrings. And we're going to walk, step, hop, float, however you want to make it to the top of the mat. Once you get here, we're going to inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold over both the legs. Inhale, we'll root to rise. Arms come up overhead. We'll exhale them down through heart center. Inhale, arms up. And we slice through that sky. Forward fold. Plant the hands. Step the feet back. You can take a regular vinyasa or you can lower down the knees, the chest, and the chin. Roll through into our cobra. And everybody meets in downward facing dog. And go ahead. Seeing if we can get in the heels to the ground, equally pushing through the shoulders. We're just getting a nice stretch through the hamstrings here. Nothing special. And then we're gonna take our little buoyancy, bending through those knees and hop into the front of the mat. Inhale, halfway lift. And exhale, we fold. Inhale, root to rise. Arms come all the way up overhead. Exhale them down through heart center. We're going to take a big step back with this left foot. Coming in for a wide-legged stance here. 
and we're just gonna take big full body circles. So we're gonna drop over towards the left, roll over towards the right, and then back up over towards the left. We're gonna do these a few times and I will let you know when we're going the other way. So let's go ahead, left to right for two. And here we go for three. You should feel this in your back and your legs. Here we go for four. Mm. One more time going this way. Oh, very nice. And we're going to reverse it. So we're going to go over towards the right, down, up towards the left. Full circle there for one. Oh, yeah. Two. Three, four, and five. Now I'll stand back up, arms up, little star action, twinkle fingers. And this left hand is coming to this right foot, right hand up towards the sky. You should feel this in your legs little twisty action. You might feel this in your back a little bit. We're going to inhale. We're going to come back up through star. And we're going to take right hand and left foot. Same thing. Breathe. All right, back to center. And now we're going to find a little dance with that. We're going to do it five times each side. Ready? Go. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, yeah, you got this. One more. And ten. Back up through star. Go ahead and take the arms and cactus and bring the booty down. Coming in for goddess here. Feet are pointed outside edges of the mat. And we breathe here. Oh, yeah. Little Egyptian goddesses. Oh, we breathe. We're going to come down to our Skandasana over here on the left side. So whenever it feels good, you can go ahead and come down with me. Hands can be at heart center or on the mat, whatever you need. Breathe nice and tall. And we're going to sit back on our booties. Right hand's going to grab for the left ankle. Left hand up and over that rainbow. Nice side stretch here. Breathe. Gaze is up towards the ceiling, trying to revolve the chest open here. We're not closing it off and rounding. Just stretching through the sides. And slowly we come back up. Hands either come to the mat or back to heart center. Back to our skandasana here. And we're coming to the other side. So use your hands or just get yourself over right side skandasana. Hands at heart center, nice long spine. Oh yeah, this should feel great through the hips. And you got it, we're gonna plop ourselves back. Left hand, right ankle, right hand up and overhead. Keeping that chest radiating and breathe. No holding or clenching that breath. Very nice. Ever so slowly, we come back up. Hands to heart center or on the mat. Back to our skandasana here. Beautiful yogi. I'm gonna come around to frame this foot and we're stepping it back and coming in through our plank. If you want the knees down, you can have the knees down. And we're gonna push forward and hold. One, two, three, four, five. Lower down, chaturanga. One, 
two, three, four, five. Push up to our up dog. Let's hold it. One, two, three, four, five. Mimi back, down dog. Oh, yes, go ahead and take the feet outside edges of the mat. Take left hand to the right ankle, nice little twist. And plant that left hand, right hand to the left ankle. And we twist. Very nice. And hand plants. Feet come back towards the center of the mat. Beautiful. And when it feels good, on an inhale, right leg sweeps up. Three leg dog. Beautiful. Roll forward. Cat action through the shoulders and through the spine. Rounding hard. Pulling that knee into the chest. Pull it even harder. And then step it in between the hands. Allow an inhale to rise you up to our high lunge here. Arms up and overhead. And we breathe here. Now holding or clenching that breath. Feels good. You can come up onto the ball of that right foot. Just challenging yourself here. Foot comes back down. Open up. Warrior two. Breathe. Gaze is towards that right hand. Oh, yeah. Left hand drops, right hand sweeps up. Exalted warrior. We're gonna come through humble warrior, so back through warrior two. Interlace the hands behind the back or grab opposite elbows and allow the chest to come forward. Hands may drop overhead. Breathe. Now holding or clenching that breath here, we are still actively allowing the breath to come through. And rise yourself back up. Release the grip. Warrior two. We're going to bring this left hand beside this right foot. Pivot on that back foot. Right hand up and overhead. Little revolved side angle. We're coming down to revolve Skandasana. So pivot to the outside edges of both of the feet. Right hand comes back towards that left foot. Breathe, stretching all through those IT bands should feel lovely. And back up, frame the foot, step it back, plank. Go ahead, take your gaze forward and shift forward. One, two, three, four, five. Lower down. One, two, three, four, five. Push up. Up dog. One, two, three, Four, five, push back, down dog. You my fabulous rock star you are. Go ahead, take a nice inhale and sigh it all out the mouth. Beautiful, and you got it. Other side, left leg sweeps up, three leg dog. Beautiful, we're gonna round forward, knee to nose, squeeze in that foot, and knee into the chest as hard as you can. Cat action through the back. Pull hard, squeeze, and step it in between the hands. Allow an inhale to rise you up. Ah, uh, lunge. Arms up, overhead. Beautiful. If you took <laughs> coming up on the ball with that other foot, go ahead and come up on the ball with this foot. Breathe. And release that foot. Open up. Warrior two. Very nice. Gaze us towards that left hand. <sighs> Breathe. Right hand drops. Left hand sweeps up. Exalted warrior. Very nice. Back up. Warrior two. Interlace those hands behind the back or grab opposite elbows. And allow yourself to come down. Humble 
warrior. And we breathe here. No holding, clenching. And ever so slowly, we peel ourselves up back into our warrior two. And this left hand, our right hand's gonna plant beside that left foot and the left hand sweeps up. Beautiful, revolve side angle. And allowing the feet to pivot to the outside edges. And this left hand comes back towards that right foot. Oh yeah, revolved, skandasana, getting all in these outer IT bands, showing them some love. Breathing, we're not holding or clenching that breath. Oh yeah, and then push back, framing that foot and stepping it back, plank. <laughs> Let's play. Push forward, one, two, three, four, five. Lower down, one, two, Three, four, five. Push up. One, two, three, four, five. Push back. Down dog. Good job. Nice inhale and exhale here. And inhale, we'll sweep the right leg up. Bring it in between the hands and allow yourself to rise up. Ha, lunge. Arms up and overhead beautiful you can bring the hands down to heart center we're coming for warrior three here so we're going to use this pouncing energy to pounce up coming on this right foot finding that drishti finding that gazing point it's okay if you fall your teacher is falling breathe Right hand drops down, left hand sweeps up. Open those hips up, half moon. Maybe taking that gaze towards that left hand. Breathing. No holding or clenching the breath. And step it back. Warrior two. Beautiful, beautiful yogi. Breathe. Cartwheel these hands, framing that foot. Stepping it back, Plank. Just take your regular vinyasa, shift forward, lower down, lift up. Everybody pushes back and meets down dog. <sighs> Very nice. Take you an inhale and an exhale here. Inhale, left leg sweeps up, three leg dog. In between the hands, that foot plants and allow an inhale to rise us up. High lunge, arms up overhead. Breathe. Oh, yes. Hands can come down through heart center. And we're taking that pouncy little action here to come up to warrior three. Finding that gazing point. Breathing, no holding or clenching. The left hand drops, right hand sweeps up. Maybe taking that gaze towards that right hand. Open up those hips. Big step back brings us into our warrior two. Gazes towards that left hand. You should be so proud of yourself. Cartwheel these hands, frame that foot. Step back plank, vinyasa. Everybody meets. Downward dog. You have done very, very, very good. We're gonna hop, step, jump the feet to the outside edges of the mat. Coming in for yogi squat, using those elbows to push against the knees, hands at heart center. Maybe saying thank you for this incredible body. Thank you for this time here on my mat. So, so much to be grateful for. Here would be a great time to express the gratitude.
Maybe even taking a round of applause, giving yourself a pat on the back. Showing up for ourselves is not easy, but it's where the magic happens. You can go ahead and sit back on your booty. We're coming in for cow legs. So we're gonna start with the left leg down and just pull this right leg over. The knees may stack, they may not. We're working on it. It's all a journey. Once you get here, if this is enough, you stay here. If you want, you can walk your body and your hands forward. Wherever you are, we're gonna be all the way here. Focusing on this breath. Allowing the energy that we have worked up to just caress all of our cells. Slowly, we'll peel ourselves up if you've come forward. Otherwise, we're gonna do the twisty twizzle to get to the other side. So we're just gonna come forward and tuck these toes, walk the hands to the left, around the back, all the way to the right, feet pivot the whole time. And now when we land, the right foot or the right leg will be on the bottom, left leg on top. And it's just like magic. Here we are. Grow yourself nice and tall here. Oh, yeah. And if it's within your practice, walk your hands forward. Coming down here. Oh yeah. Really feeling into these hips. As a female, we can hold so many emotions in the hips. So every day I love to stretch the hips out in one way or the other. Breathing, allowing that breath to calm. Slowly, we'll peel ourselves back up, releasing this left foot and coming through and windshield wiper in these legs. Oh, yes. Very nice. Very nice. And while we're here, we're going to do reverse tabletop. So hands point towards the feet. 
feet are about hip width apart and let's go ahead and send those hips up and if it feels good you can drop the head back breathe we're not holding or clenching and then we're gonna have some fun bringing the hips through in between the hands play and then swinging them back through reverse tabletop for one and let's do five two Three, four. Oh yeah, we got one more. Five. Hold. Seeing what it feels like with those hips back. And forward, reverse table top last. Tom. Beautiful. Release those hips down. Slowly bringing us all the way down. This would be another great time to rock and roll if you want. I'm just going to come in for some bicycles, a little ab work here. So you can leave the legs parallel to the ceiling or the mat. <sighs> Hands behind the head. And we're just going to bring this left elbow to the right knee and then the other side. I'm going to do 20. Ready and go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Beautiful. Hug those knees in. And we're just going to send the legs out long. Coming back where we started. Tucking the shoulder blades, palms face up. Our beautiful, beautiful Shavasana. You are worthy of this time. If you normally skip Shavasana, I challenge you to stay here with me for just 60 seconds. Your body has done amazing work. Give it this time to absorb it, to realize what just happened, to be grateful for your ability. so slowly let's take the arms overhead big full body stretch and we'll roll over into our fetal position using this right arm as a pillow and we'll slowly push ourselves up and we'll meet in our Comfy seat, hands at heart center, Anjali Mudra. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you had fun and I hope you feel powerful. Have a great rest of your day. Namaste.